you know, on Sunday, I like to have my message calmer, but but today's a little different. I, I'm I'm looking around, and I'm seeing the costume party. I'm seeing the sideshow. I'm seeing the opposite of everything I believe in. These motherfuckers wanting to acquire something instead of become it. I'm the way I am because I lived hard. I've lived hard forever. That's why I look the way I do. That's why I live the way I live. That's why there's no fucking negotiations with me and my goals. This is how you need to be. If you're soft on the outside, you're a soft ass, bitch ass motherfucker on the inside. But guess what? You can change that. I told you I've been at this 12 years. If you're soft as hell right now, guess what? Sign up for fucking 12 years. If that's too long for you, then it ain't for your soft ass, okay? So if I'm gonna pass on the confidence, if I'm gonna pass on the ability for you to really do what's hard, which is be a good man in all situations, which is to push down what you truly want at heart to get the outcome for you and other people by saying, hey, you know what? I feel this way, but I know how to get my outcome. I love you anyways. I got you. I understand you. If I'm going to get you to get that outcome, I need to get you to learn how to live hard because these fucking situations are hard. They're emotionally taxing, they're physically taxing. And you have to get prepared for these fucking situations by walking straight into them daily. The emotional pain I show you with my story last night, walk into that shit. The physical pain of the workouts and getting up and doing shit you don't want to do, run into that shit. Let's fucking get it. So people seem to not be able to understand this, this quote, this dynamic. Be stern with self and kind to others. These are both massively hard things. Being stern with self means pushing your goals, going hard, pushing down your feelings and what you want for your purpose. Being kind to others means in a situation that doesn't favor you. It's not just when you're passing someone and you hold the door open for them. It's about when the situation's difficult. It's about when you don't want to be kind to someone else. It's about when they're in the fault, in the wrong. And you should maybe act a different way, but you choose not to. So essentially, through our daily habits, we are conditioning ourselves. We get up early. We do what's hardest. We get up early as fuck. We sacrifice pleasure for a greater purpose by not eating foods we desire and not always doing everything we desire. We work hard physically. This strengthens us and teaches us to keep what we feel like doing in check. So when a situation that's hard comes along, like a motherfucker talking shit and we're about to succumb to our feelings and blast his head off. We don't because we're in control of our feelings from our daily habits, from this routine, not from a book, from this routine. So this is how you gain control through this, the fucking daily habits, consistently not doing what you feel. So when a situation like that arises, a life-threatening situation that can potentially put you in the pen for fucking life, you choose to not act how you feel. I'm a motherfucking alpha. If a motherfucker comes at me, I feel like taking his motherfucking head off and blasting a motherfucker. But since I've worked on my daily habits and always pushing down how I feel for my greater purpose, I can apply that to this situation. Now I can get my outcome in both areas by simply learning to make purpose-based decisions.